and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode two of the Stone Block Mod Pack uh, for Minecraft. So, <laughs> yeah, we are picked up just where we left off last episode. Um, but what I want to do is I was looking at things to use the apples for. Um, so that we could have some food because we're starting to get a little, a little bit hungry. And I was uh, looking at what we could use apples in. Oh, stuffed duck. Uh, that sounds very interesting. Uh, plum. Oh my god, look at all that. The meat haunches on that. 22 saturation. What? <laughs> anyway, uh, I looked over here. And look at this, you can cook an apple and it goes from a half a haunch and a half of a saturation to give you four and four haunches of hunger and six of saturation. So that is amazing and we want to do that. Uh, so furnace, boink, and then we can just, um, we can break down one of our logs here. I usually just do sticks, um, two sticks, uh, will smelt one item. So, yes, very good early, uh, food source. Um, it's pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> There we go. We got some food now. Uh, excellent. So where we left off last episode, we just made string. Um, we have this floral fertilizer. Uh, you really need grass to get this because uh, you can use bone meal and like red and yellow flowers to make your first floral fertilizers but you need grass to bone meal as well to get those red and yellow flowers um unless there's a different way that you can get the what are they called poppies is there a way to make these uh, out of yellow flowers Okay, but I don't, so if you have a flower, you can change it into all the different ones with Botania, but we need to know how to create one. This will duplicate them, and it looks like um, you can get them through uh, Void Botanic Minor Tier 1, which is not something we can do right now. So yeah, we're going to need grass for that one. So that one's a little bit, uh, we can't do that one just yet. This one uh, we can't do because we need water. Uh, this one we need a mob farm. And this one we can do. We can do this one. Sieves require a mesh. Different resources are obtained by running dirt, gravel, sand, and dust through it with different meshes. Meshes. Um, okay, this one is a little bit different than like the crash landing and agrarian skies version of Ex Nihilo because you used to like craft the mesh in with it. So this one you have to actually make the mesh separately. So we're going to need, I think it's just planks and sticks it might I think it's like this oh so it may be um, that you need one of these oh and we're gonna what was that a spice rack That sounds pretty cool. Um, let's let's focus, focus, focus. Is 
that the recipe? Okay, good. Normally you would have like two mesh there and that would make it, but it looks like it makes it separately. I think I did this a little bit in, um, oh my goodness, I can't think of the terribly long name of that series that I did. <laughs> Expert Skyblock, uh, Infinity Evolved, yes, Expert Skyblock. Uh, so now you have to have a mesh to go into it. Oh, look, we completed our quest. I forgot, I keep forgetting about the quest. <laughs> oh, and look at that. Oh my goodness. Is that all we're going to get is those upgrades oh my goodness <laughs> but now we have another quest to turn in two because of the mesh cji for which resources this this mesh will give okay let's do that um what can i just put you on there oh you can but it just shows the heavy sieve uh, but it should give the same resources, just different numbers. Uh, there's soul sand, compressed. Okay, so if we do sand, it looks like we get cactus and cocoa beans and all of the different ores. And we get nickel from the sand. Uh, gravel, looks like we'll get coal and flint and... I don't see gold in there or nickel. There's something else. I think um, platinum. Is platinum a thing? Did we have platinum over here? Aluminum, aluminum, nickel, iron, lead, silver, gold, copper, osmium, tin. So maybe it was the silver, silver and gold and nickel. Okay, so you can't get those from gravel. Um, oh, dirt, I forgot you can, uh, we we'll want to eventually sieve some dirt to get this grass, uh, grass seeds, and then we can do the Batania quest and hopefully lure animals what biome are we in oh we're in a jungle uh i don't think we'll get anything but cats maybe parrots to spawn in the jungle i don't know I, you sometimes see stuff in the jungle like sheep and chickens and cows at least you know you used to um i think it's really only like the the ocean biomes that you don't get um, mob spawns in so yeah that's the thing let's go ahead and pop this guy open oh speed two we really that's really not gonna benefit us very much here in this little tiny hole so yeah uh, so we got that um, you know, we could go ahead. Is there like any difference from the flint mesh to the string mesh? Or does it just increase your chances of getting stuff? Let's have a look at that. I don't remember the soul saying. Okay, so you still get cocoa beans and cactus seeds and one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah nine different so you looks like you get all of those uh that doesn't appear to have changed oh we didn't do oh look at that you get way more things from the dirt you get rice seeds uh this mineral sapling uh 
some actually addition seeds it looks like um also you get the the andesite diorite and granite pebbles um coffee pumpkin okay that's a big list to remember uh oh but you don't get normal seeds in the this the string mesh you get normal wheat seeds but they're they're not in this list so there are different things as well at least in those this is for dust uh we'll need to do some dust to get bone meal as well and look you only get gold silver and nickel from dust uh in the flint mesh I didn't I don't think I looked at it in the spring one but we already looked at the dirt hmm. and that why did it list it twice I don't know anyway it does look like um, some things are different so maybe if we go to the iron mesh is the iron mesh get because there was no redstone in that list so maybe well you have to in order to mine redstone you have to have an iron pick so maybe you have to have an iron mesh as well so ender gravel draconium dust i don't remember seeing that Compressed nether gravel. Uh, oh, look. If you do sand in an uh, iron mesh, you also get eulorium and prosperity shards and ancient spores. But you don't get cocoa beans and you don't get cactus seeds. So that's interesting. Uh, oh, look at that. Di uh, iron also gives you access to lapis, emeralds, and diamonds. And it takes the flint out. So, oh, that's kind of cool because I know in like crash landing I would have like a complete barrel full of flint and nothing to use it on and have to void everything. So that's cool as well. Um, yes! There's redstone and oh my goodness, look at what all they added to sand with the iron mesh. You get gunpowder, skystone dust, glowstone dust. Uh, I don't know, I think that was already there. You get certus quartz, blaze powder, and redstone. So that is good. And it lists, it lists the gravel, dust, and sand. Or no, that's not it. Okay, it listed this stuff twice. Okay, so what do you get with the diamond one? Oh, that was the wrong button. Hmm, interesting. Oh, if you use the diamond mesh, you get a gas tear out of that instead of. something else I don't remember what it was though um that looks the same as the iron so maybe you just have a greater chance of getting these drops look at that iron ore is 60 percent and all the other stuff is like less than 20 wow okay that's nice I couldn't get tons of iron grains of infinity I don't know. Uh, oh, that's for Ender IO. I love Ender IO. It's just such a good mod. It just works. I really like things that just work and I don't have to fiddle around with it. Okay, it looks this is different. You can get the ore berry bushes if you sift dirt in a diamond stiffened mesh. That'd be interesting if we need um experience for anything okay and that yeah that looks about 
the same as the, the iron one. So I'm assuming that that's going to increase your chances to get the, the, the drops. Okay, I don't know why it's listing that twice, but that's all of the different meshes. Um, cool. So, yeah. Um, let's just put it in the ground, like right here. I don't like it to be in the way or anything, but it's something that I will probably use quite a bit of. Um, I wonder if you can do like an Infinity Evolved and have multiples and then it does the same thing. Um, let's try it out. We have more string and more stuff. Let's make another one and see. Okay. Um, we have a couple of gravel, so let's try that out. It did do both of them. Did you see that? Awesome. Um, we need another chest, though. make those and this will be oh look we only got out of those three gravel we got one coal <laughs> and I was worried okay uh -huh -huh -huh. so we could uh, do like a three by three grid right here okay and then Um, let's see, I want the tool station there, maybe the stencil table over here, let's um, no, let's put the, pattern chest, part builder, heart chest and then if you add a tinkers um, crafting table to this it makes it a multi-block structure so that when you open it you can access all the different things from one block so if no matter which one you click on you can access all of them but it doesn't work if you don't have the crafting station see And I don't think you need this part chest. No. But that's kind of cool. So awesome. Um, yeah, I'll probably uh, try to knock the rest of those off. I don't know. I don't know if I want to do any off-camera work. Um, I don't know. You really kind of have to because otherwise the videos would just be so long. <laughs> and we haven't really done a quest. What is the next one? Oh, the flint mesh. Uh, now you can get flint by... Um, sieving gravel, uh, let's see, but I think you can also make it with gravel. Yeah, you can, <laughs> there's two recipes for that too. So, that's, uh, Pam Simple's recipes, you can use four gravel, or Tinker's Construct, you can use three. 
so that's cool what is this oh mystical agriculture stuff nice so there you go we can do and i think it takes five so if we just wanted to bypass all that and just make it straight away because i don't think you get a very good chance it's only 13 percent chance you would have to make way more than like 15 gravel to get five flint but i don't know i don't know that we want to upgrade those right away um it looks like yeah, we'll, we'll definitely use those, though, when we do make them. Let's go ahead and... Actually, let's save that for a piece of glass or something. Um, oh, yeah, we can put these in the stencil table. I'll tell you what we should do is uh, make an axe to chop down the tree. Now, I think in this version, you also have to use the binding and the handle, the tool rod. Yeah, we'll need the part builder. Um, I think we can make this a stone. Oh, I think it takes three. No? Material costs two. There it goes, huh? It's a little wonky, like um, in crash landing, you just have to pick it up and put it back down. So, oh yeah, we want that to... Okay, I need you to go in there. All right, so... Now these take one material. And that also takes one material. Instead it used to just take a stick, now it takes a whole. Do with Langy. So now we can put those away. Oh, yes, uh, we'll want the tool station. The axe. Boop, boop, boop. And there we go. <laughs> We're off to the races. Yes. Um, I guess we could go ahead and make the pick as well, because then all we have to do is, where's our stencil table? All we have to do is make the pick pickaxe pattern and put that in there. And then go back to our part builder, click on that one. There we go, got it again. A little bit buggy, that's okay. Um, let's go ahead and break that down. So we don't have to worry about it. Going to part builder. Uh, oh, there we go. Thought I'd messed it up by picking up that uh, piece, but I didn't. Oh, shum. There we go. Now we can break blocks without breaking them down if we so choose. Um, which we do, I want to make the... I want, I want to make the flint mesh, so maybe we'll make a third one of these guys oh we got this oh we're gonna need more wood 
Oh, we got enough. We got enough, just barely. And then, um, it may only be four and then five string. Okay, so we made, <laughs> we made some extra. Oh, yeah, I forgot, and that was part of a quest. So there we go, we can get another bag. Uh, oh, that's the wrong quest. Claim. It's gonna be a little bit harder to get the iron mesh. Um, so, before we can get to the smell tree, we're gonna have to do the water so that we can make clay. And we're also going to have to make clay in order to get the crucible to make lava to get um, a cobble gen, which we also need the water for a cobble gen. Uh, which I don't know why we need a cobble gen since our whole world is filled with <laughs> nothing but stone. Ah! Okay, so let's see what's in our reward bag. Ooh, some yellowite ore. Interesting. Okay, so let's place this back over here. We're going to need some more wood because we just used up all of our wood. So, um, also, we might want to... Oh, did you see that? How many apples did we just get? Oh, look. Holy, we got really lucky. We got five apples, a plump peach, and a plump pear. I didn't even know that was a thing. Okay. Um, so there's more silkworms if we need it, which we might. What the? What was that? I don't know, but that was a creepy sound. Okay, there's a little bit more wood. Um, let's go ahead and make two crooks, because I definitely think we're going to need the food. Definitely going to need the food. broke it and we didn't get any apples out of that one um maybe we want the stone crook because that was that just random luck that we got five apples on that or I don't know but we can definitely make another stone crook really fast because uh, it looks like we only got like three worms out of that and more saplings of course oh come on there we go that gave us two apples I think some of it was just random we just probably got really lucky on that first one to get uh, five apples and then two of the other things. So let's try. Oh, this one has a whole bunch of leaves. So I bet if we try it with our wooden thing, we're going to get more apples. <laughs> we didn't. We didn't get a single freaking apple off of that. Let's try with the other one. I don't know what is. Is it you get the, I didn't get again nothing. We we had those seven on us. That is weird. Plus we're um we're using up a lot of our hunger. Look at all those saplings we got though. Yeah, I think we should stick with the stone crook. Oh, well, look, and uh, 
on that but I guess it's just random because we didn't get any on that that stone crook but look it didn't uh, it didn't damage it near as much as the wooden crook does like you get um, one small tree and it's half of a wooden crook now this one yeah it does a lot less damage to stone we only got one apple but still um, let's use that one coal that we have to make those into our food there we go um, so let's go ahead and kill off the rest of this little wooden crook there we go get rid of that so it looks like the not only are the stone crooks well at the very least they are more durable so that is good um we may want to make a barrel just to use some of these extra saplings oh no wait we can use those to turn them into water in the wooden crucible let's look at i think it's just wood wood logs and one one slab so do we have a slab yeah there we go oh and that's a quest excellent oh that's creepy like the wind is blowing really hard outside and uh it's blowing our screen door open it's making that sound <laughs> I don't I don't know if that's exactly the sound it was making but it's close craft a bucket with iron from sifting to pick up water okay is there I guess there's no clay buckets that's not a bucket Oh, yeah there is there's a clay bucket but that quest wants an iron bucket and oh look at that we got our reward oh another fleet beat that doesn't do us a whole lot of good in this very cramped and confined space and let's get our food excellent uh, so we we'll want to definitely make another one of those stone crooks um, we need to get this set up for water I don't know, maybe we'll just put it right there okay and it looks like we'll need two three four five six seven eight nine ten to get to a thousand millibuckets awesome okay so <laughs> all we need is the iron that was the easy part um so i guess we just have to smash and now we can make the hammers using sticks uh so that's cool um so we'll need at least three iron i don't know that we can actually get what's the difference in okay the string mesh iron has a 30 percent chance the flint has a 40 percent chance so let's go ahead and do the flint one maybe we'll get lucky and we'll get oh no because it takes oh did they 
it's going to take like 12 iron bits. I don't think we'll be able to get that much in like 16 gravel. We'll see. And the last one, there we go. Uh, yep. We need like another 48 or more of that. What is this? Oh, you can put it in the packager. From Cyclic? Oh, I guess they don't have the auto packager. The auto packager didn't actually craft it. Uh, what the? What did I push? <laughs> I keep pushing tab. Uh, let's say package. Okay, so yeah, there is no auto packager, but that's good to know that that's there. What does it take? Well, just some light blue dye and two furnaces and two crafting tables. That's kind of cool. Why is there two, like, oh, one's a workbench and one's a stone crafting table. Which is just a stone crafting table and two cobblestone. Oh, so it's just an upgraded workbench. But I'm pretty sure this one keeps its inventory too. Yeah, see? The stone one does, but the regular one doesn't. Okay. Uh, so we're going to need way more gravel. Let's go up. And we'll get it in one fell swoop. I think our water is already ready and we don't even have the iron for it. Okay, um, that one's gonna break. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah. And we can just combine those. Awesome. Okay, so let's try to get this bucket. Let's try to get the bucket. Um,. And then we can make an infinite water source and get clay. Yeah, that's a good plan. And then um, maybe we'll go ahead and call it because it's nighttime again. Uh, let's see. I mean, we did do quests. We got our... Um, I don't remember. <laughs> oh, we did the crucible. What else did we do? I know we did... We did the... The crucible. Is that all we've done? Oh, we made the uh, the furnace. We got lots of trees. Um, uh, we got some apples and whatnot. Yeah, I haven't really been doing the quests. Oopsie. <laughs> so <laughs> here we go. Let's uh, let's hope we can get enough iron out of his this for a bucket, and then maybe we'll shoot for getting to the clay and then next episode we'll try to get the cobble gin done and get some lava because uh, we'll need lava before we can actually use the smeltery anyway so that's a good step to go to get to it 
So there we go. Did we get it? 21. Oh, yes, we did. We only need the three, but we're going to go ahead and do those. Awesome. Oh, we need more sticks. Uh. Oh, no. no, no, no. Yeah. I need the sticks because we don't have a full five. There we go. That'll make our bucket, and then we can do the quest. Um, we're going to have to make another bucket to get another... Um, Let's see. Can we do that? Yes. Because um, that's going to be the wall. Did we knock out all of them? Yeah. So I think... What we might do here... So we're gonna knock out a little hole. We're gonna knock out that one, that one, and that one. There we go. That'll be where our water is. So how's our iron? Our iron is good. Got it. And then we're gonna scoop up our water. Oh yeah. There we go. Claim that reward. Yes. So we're going to put this one here. And then we're going to put uh, 10 more saplings in there to get the things rolling. Oh, look at that. We are down. We are down to 28 cobble. Oh. I really don't like chance cubes. I really just don't like it because, you know, it can wreck your world. <laughs> I don't like that. Okay, so while we're waiting here for that, then once we get um, infinite water, we can take a bucket, scoop it back in there, and put a dust in it to get clay. So it looks like... Um, The next quest is going to want us to get, oh, three clay. So we're going to need, while that water is being processed, let's go ahead and get to our three dust. And that's like, dust is all the way at the end of the chain for uh, the process. So we have to go to uh, gravel and then dirt. And sand and then dust. Boink, boink, boink. Okay, so now we have our three dust. Oh, our water isn't ready yet. No. Um I guess we could let's go ahead and tower up here. Actually, let's use our pick here that we made with Tinker's Construct. And just go ahead and start knocking some of this stuff off. While we're waiting for the water. Oh, it looks like it's done. Excellent. There we go. Now we can put it right there and that will create an infinite water source. I, th I hope that's going directly to my inventory. Otherwise, I don't know where it's going. Yeah, it went right there. Excellent. Get another loot chest. 
Oh, clay can be obtained by clicking a crucible filled with water or wooden barrel with the zip. Yeah, but we already knew that because we're really smart. <laughs> right? Oh, there we go. Got a growth crystal for a farm. Works in a 9x9 nine nine farm. Checks up to two blocks up or down. So we could like, um, hey, there's more cobble. Uh, we could put, put it down under the water block in the middle and then it'll check up and uh, help the growth. That is awesome. Well, I will definitely use that. So why do we need an iron bucket to make clay? Um, because we need that for lava generation, but we're going to save that. Oh, look at this. Crucibles can transform stone into lava and it lists all the different speeds of the blocks you put under the crucible. Oh look, you can put the granite diorite or andesite in there as well. Interesting. Um, you get one for a torch, three for lava, five for fire, and that's if you have netherrack to set on fire. Um, a mega torch is 10. What is a mega torch? A Eulorian block is 20, plutonium 30, uh, superheating element 60. I think, um, you get Eulorium once you get to an iron mesh. Can you um, make that in? Um, plus, we just got 12 Eulorium blocks. Uh, or, but they're ore blocks. This is what we need a Eulorium block, and it takes Eulorium ingots. What's that? Okay. And you get that by smelting Eulorium dust in the furnace. Oh, there's two pages. Uh, an extra. To... Okay, so it's interesting that the. Redstone furnace isn't on this list. There's the Enderite O alloy smelter. The furnace from Extra Ut Utilities has a furnace? Interesting. I didn't know they had that. Um, there's... Oh, you have to put it in the induction smelter. It has to be the yellow right or it cannot be the dust. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so that's what we're going to do next episode. We're going to get the crucible going and make lava. And um, I'm probably going to do a little bit of off camera work, uh, clearing some of this stuff up up here, and uh, getting some more, some of the materials ready to make the smeltery to go with the lava. So maybe I'll get this cleared up and clear out an area for the Tinker's Smelt Tree and Lava Generation. Uh, so yeah, because this is a little bit small. <laughs> it, it's a, I guess we could put it into a wall, but um, I would like to have the lava generated automatically and fed into the smeltery. I just like that because then I don't have to worry about smelting my ores or anything in there uh, or producing lava for it. It will just feed right into it. Cause why not? Um, so yeah, uh, anyway, um, 
we're going to call the episode here. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time for episode three. Bye-bye.